to be playing of our national anthem. We'll be sending the opening kickoff here momentarily. The Essex Hornets and the Mounties and NSJ, both clubs 5-1 and one on the year. And NSJ will be received going right to left in the first quarter. And the Essex Hornets will be kicking off going left to right here in the first quarter. It's very important to play a wishbone team like Essex if you can get out ahead of them. It causes them to change their offense a little bit. Uh, Wisco and Dwight is a good ball control offense, very effective offense. Not very good at coming from behind, so looking for Coach from down here to open things up a little more than normal. Hopefully, Dwight trying to get that opening score and put Essex in the hole, maybe get them to change their offense as they go along the game. But uh, Essex will probably want to just stick with the Wisco and grind it out and control the ball and try to keep it away from the MSG. But they'll probably, like we said, Coach from down might want to open things up a little bit more than normal in the opening quarter to get a lead on Essex and force them to play catch up football. Of course, Essex has to be sky high after. A big win a week ago, but the Mounties have to be sky high, being close to 100% healthy for the first time in a while. Jesse William will be doing the voting for Essex. Pete Rosario, Matt Peraldi, and Ryan Birkenhead back deep for MSG in this big Division I matchup. Is away here. Getting out of the way. Beautiful night here at the Essex Junction Educational Center. Jess McWilliam getting set, and here's the boot. And this will go to Pete Missouri, and it's right in front of him, picking it up as Matt Peraldi. He's going to went back and... Okay, by the 24, Matt Peraldi. ...on the tackle for the Essex Hornets. Well, it was coming to Missouri, and Peraldi came up and grabbed it. So the Mounties go on the offense, first and 10 at the own 26-yard line. Jack said, uh, Matt Sharon jumped off the side, so you've got the open five-yard penalty. So it's first and 15 for the Mounties as they waste a timeout here. Just underway, the Mounties getting the opening kickoff, and we're waiting for the first play from scrimmage. Scott Outslay decided to take the timeout. It was moments after Matt Sharon had run off sides. As he jumped a couple of moments away. Offside penalty against MSK. Scott Outslay. So the Mounties still discussing things here on their timeout. And when we finally get underway, they will have it first and 15 at their own 21 yard line. Jack is doing an excellent shape tonight. Uh, nice and dry, also doesn't seem to be in the end zone. The only almost won't play a factor in tonight's game. Now a couple of setbacks, Sites and also Stevens. Tight right is Sharon, tight left is McGrath. As the handoff goes to the second man, and making his way across the 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, down the sideline. 20, 15, and finally caught from behind at the 8 yard line is Nate Sites on the opening play from scrimmage. Nate Sites took it to the outside and down the far sideline. Ball carried by the Nate Sites. Nate Sites. Nate Sites. At the Essex 9 yard line. Nice went off tackle and uh, nobody got a hand. He ran through a couple of hard tackles, let me able to wrap him up and uh, Nate showing some good speed down the sideline and uh, the defensive back able to run down from behind as, as Nate showed a little tired after going about 65 yards. Did a great job and definitely gets the, uh, the man is a big lift here early on. About 71 yards or so on the carry. Nate Seitz first and goal MSJ at the Essex 9 yard line. First play from scrimmage, Seitz took it to the far sideline. Finally, caught from behind. Now, Stevens and Baraldi are the setbacks. The ends are tied behind Ousley. Ousley keeps himself off right tackle and squeezes his way down to about the six yard line. Well, okay, by the quarterback, three of the second and goal. Ousley. At the Essex six, Len Koval on the tackle for Essex just underway. No score. 10 45 remaining first quarter. Len has now been using a lot of the ones that have got up the old double beats. He has to make a little body wants to go for that's 
Is at the Essex five yard line. That was Sites on the carry, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, Kimi announcer said to all the members that behind us. Now the Mounties operate out of the high, and somebody jumped too quickly. And uh, Mike and Mokehi really was starting out on the offensive line. Did you see Mike Ouslow there? Mike Mokehi was the one who jumped on the side. So far, he has MSK offside. Third and goal at the Essex 10 off the offside. Mike Ousley's not out there. So Mike Ousley not starting on the offensive line apparently here. Again, well, the offensive line is moving up. Each play, the offensive line not really going off in sync. Uh, I thought they might have got a call for Ousley on the previous play, but they didn't. Uh, kind of early on, to, you know, they get the Canes down on Scott Ousley, trying to get, off, they get all off smoothly. Couple of setbacks behind Ousley. Birkenhead is a wing on the left. Wide left is McGrath. Tight right is Sharon. Play action Ousley. Close toward the end zone and lead at the four yard line to Ryan Birkenhead and he's tackled immediately. Zosley dropped it way back. He was being chased and rolled left. The pass was completed number 31, Ryan Birkenhead. Of six yards, the Mounties are faced with a fourth and goal. He's going to mark it at the Essex three yard line. And now MSJ wants another timeout. There's second here in the early going. We'll be back after this 30 second break. Second time out. First play from scrimmage after a penalty. A 70 yard run by Nate Sice. The Mounty is a, a first and goal at the Essex 9 yard line. And we're a few plays later. Putting the first day on the side. Michael Cahey is the same action out of guard spot. Mike Ousley did not get the scoring not offensively uh, here for the Mounty. And the Mounty is going to go for it here. Fourth down and goal from the Essex 3 yard line. They operate out of the power line. Ousley on the handoff to Baroni off right tackle and he's going to be dropped shy of the goal line right around the two. And Essex takes over on down. The ball is made by number 44, Matt Baroni. The tackle is made by number 76, Justin Martin. Last thing down to the defensive tackle position is wrapped up by Matt Baroni. Boys, will you move along? A uh, good drive there, but ends for not there, but now that's going to be backed up and it's very important the defense can hold them here. Gentlemen, pitch them goal for the Essex. So it's going left to right here in the first quarter. They have it at their own two-yard line. They operate out of the wishbone. Justin Fordham is the quarterback. And the handoff to the fullback, Brad Moore, as he takes it straight ahead. A tough yard. Shy of the five-yard line. They're going to mark it at the five. Pick up a three. It'll be second and seven for the Essex Hornets. Larry here there to wrap them up. You see Mike Ousley is getting the starting nod defensively, so they undoubtedly have decided to go just one way with Mike, uh, playing defensively but not offensively. Mike was in the last series in the last play on the offense and he's okay. being selective on which he plays on the offense. No score, 8 5 remaining first quarter, Essex and MSJ. Morgan now goes to the second man, Boyer, and there's a fumble, and I believe the Mounties have recovered. As McGurgan never could get it to Boyer, the Mounties think they've got it, and they do. And the Mounties have a first and goal, and here's the ball from Mike Outslay, recovering the fumble for MSJ, and the Mounties will have a first and goal Mike and the Mounties will just stop on the fourth down play in close. They got a second opportunity here. One of the dangers of the offense here is there's a high risk because a lot of faking goes along. The Queens never got the ball. The running back stomach and the ball on the ground and Mike Elton will pounce on him. Excellent scoring opportunity here for the Mounties. They wanted to go to Boyer and never made connections. Mounties operate out of the power eye behind Ousley. Baraldi the deep back. Stevens incites the up backs. And off to Baraldi off right tackle. Baraldi squirms his way for a couple down to about the three yard line. Okay, no, no score, 722. We're in first quarter here at Essex. 
Geraldo was going through the hole of Justin Martin, the big defensive tackle. He fell with one of those hand locks and hand He grabbed the hold of Matt's shoulder pads and able to hold on and uh, wrestle him down to the ground. It would have helped one of the other defenders, but a uh, very big series here for the Niners. They got excellent chance to get some scoring points here. They're only going to give them a yard, so it'll be second and goal for NSJ at the Essex 4. Birkenhead in the backfield now with Sykes and Baraldi. They're in the power eye. Baraldi the deep back. And outslay play action. Throws it to the end zone. It's incomplete. And it was almost picked off the intended receiver, Matt Sharon. And getting over there to knock it away was Wade Desitel. And he actually had it and then dropped it. And he had a good chance of going about 100 yards for a touchdown to gather that one in. So the Mounties have a third and goal now at the Essex 4. Have already been stopped on fourth down in close. He tried to roll Sharon out there and actually got the ball to the super late and just got an extra read on the play. Almost there was a big interception. Now Sykes and Stevens, the up backs for all the deep back out of the I third and goal MSJ, the Essex four yard line. Ousley on the hand off the ball, the off right tackle, and he drops into the end zone touchdown. And MSJ plus first the Mounties lead the last four points of the first quarter. The first quarter, a four-yard touchdown run by Matt Feraldi. And off the right side, and that time Nate Sykes did a good job for the fullback, which is the lead blocker, seeing out the linebacker there, a gaping hole down the goal line, and Matt Feraldi ran in and got the touchdown. Now, this time the Mounties would not be denied. It. Again, set up with a long touchdown on the long shoot, long way to score the previous finish there from Nate Sykes, and also the fumble recovery there by Mike Nelson. Was the Sykes long run was in the first uh, series of downs as Curran comes in to attempt the extra point and the kick is up and good and the Mounties lead it by a score of 7-0. Seven Back with a kickoff after this 30 second timeout. Run by Matt Feroldi, the kick by Matt Curran, 7-0 MSJ, 6.47 in the remaining first quarter. Mounties had it in close, stopped and fourth down. A couple of plays later, Mike Ousley recovering a fumble. Mounties had it first and goal at the Essex 5. And a couple of plays later, Feroldi taking it in. Huge hole off right tackle. They just plotted into the end zone for the touchdown. Again, I'll set up there by the owner of coverage. They talked about the dangers of the uh, wishbone offense. Chance to bump Win time and Boyer back deep to receive the current throw. And of course, the Boyer takes the reverse, takes it right across the line and falls down in his own 22 yard line. First and 10 Essex as they go on the offense. Okay, the field position than they did before. First and 10 at their own 22 yard line going left to right here in the first quarter. <laughs> Back into the game. Just McWilliam, the senior quarterback, Brad Moore, Lidge Quintine, and Lauren Boyer in the wishbone behind him. The man wide right. As the handoff goes to the second man off left tackle and nothing doing. As it was Boyer on the carry. They went right back to the guy that fumbled before. And a Ryan Bragan on the tackle along with Scott Elsley. And we have a Mountie injured and I believe it's Mike Elsley. Mike Elsley the ball is carried by number 21, Lauren Boyer, appears to and the be tackle is made by number 66, Ryan Bragger. The carry picked up about a yard. It'll be second down and nine for Essex at their own 23-yard line. And we have a timeout on the field as they administer it to Mike Elsley. We'll be Jack Healy back with Craig Sear at Essex. It's second down and nine for the Hornets. Their own at 23 yard line. 6-13 left first quarter. It's MSJ seven and Essex nothing. Mike Ousley, who's missed a good part of the season because of a knee injury, who recovered the fumble, setting up the Mountie touchdown, has been injured. And they are administering to Mike Ousley right now. And of course, uh, he had that knee injury. And it appears uh, from here that he has re-injured that knee. Of course, uh, it's very hard for us to guess, but uh, that's what we're doing here. Looks like he's in a lot of pain here. The knee is a tough thing, and uh, Mike had missed about three games. They brought him back along slowly, and uh, they'd given the old head okay to go ahead on this game. He had the big fumble recover earlier. They set up the opening touchdown. Also, it was on the offensive line, doing a good job of blocking, and uh, Mike uh, killed it. Very promising uh, athletic future, and hopefully the team will be all right and will be able to uh, get back on things. But uh, it looks like he might, be take, might be not be back the rest of this game. And they are still administering to Mike Ousley. The Mounties got the opening kickoff. They were penalized right off the bat, so they had it first and 15. 
On the first play from scrimmage, Nate Seitz uh, took it to the outside and down the sideline across the way. Brought down a cut from behind finally at the Essex 9-yard line, a 70-yard run for Nate Seitz. The Mounties, though, were eventually stopped on fourth down. Essex took over in their own two. A couple of plays later, Mike Outslay recovered the fumble. The Essex fumbled, and the Mounties, a couple of plays later, cashed in on a four-yard touchdown run by Matt Peroldi. Curran with a kick. Mounties with a 7-0. Now Mike Ousley is up. He's being helped off the field, though, across the way. He is up, though, and he's uh, being helped off the field. He's not going off the field on his own power. He's getting some help from Matt Curran and Matt Peroldi, but I think... Uh, you can say that's better news than a stretcher. It is. I think you got to look at him. Definitely, uh, look at him out on the sideline and uh, hopefully it won't be anything too serious. He said he did miss about three games, 21. The season since uh, Mike Sports came back tonight. <laughs> Of course, Matt Sharon also with an knee injury is back in the lineup tonight. We had mentioned that Mike was not playing offensively. He did come in on one play. Apparently that fourth down play earlier, it was stopped, but he had been playing defensively and recovered that fumble. He was second and nine for Essex at their own 23-yard line, going left to right, left side hash mark. They operate out of the wishbone. And William now takes to the fullback. Here's the deep pitch to Quintine, and Quintine nothing doing as he tries to sweep it right. Going to lose about three, back to the 20, maybe the 19. Matt Sharon was there on the stop. For MSG, Scott Ousley was over there. Ball carried by number 41, Big Quick Time. Uh, safe position, a uh, good inside out angle on pursuit, and uh, just wrapped up the running back out for the pitch. He ended up losing the tackle. was made up by number 84, Matt Sharon. The defense so strong as he has such good size and speed, and uh, Scott Ousley very aggressive from a safe position, makes a lot of tackles. Well, they're going to say he lost two. It'll be third and 11 for Essex, their own 21 yard line. MSG is going 7 0. 523 left here You're in the first quarter at Essex. Cordo is in, he's tied on the left, again they operate out of the first ball behind the quarterback of William. Here's the deep pitch to Quintine, and on the option, trying to throw it left to Boyer, it goes incomplete. Quintine was pressured. He passes the catch for number 21, Lauren Boyer. I believe that was Pete Rosieri that got in there and put the pressure on him. He did a good job of putting pressure on there. A little razzle-dazzle here early on, but he follows through the wishbone. If you're throwing a lot of you don't have a lot of options about passing the formation. They had time to throw that half-stack option pass, but uh, Quintine didn't really have any time to throw the ball. He was trying to push it from the United States. Fourth and 11 for Essex, the long 21. McWilliam back to his own eight-yard line to boot it away. Either Birkenhead or Missouri. It'll go to Birkenhead at his own 48-yard line. Skips across the 50, down the sideline, inside the 45, and moving out of bounds at the Essex 41-yard line. They get ball carried by number 31, Ryan Birkenhead. After the fumble recovery, but they'll start this drive. Apparently, they're going to say now Ryan Birkenhead went out at about the Essex 43. So it'll be first and 10 for the Mounties at that point. And Jason... We go in on the tackle for the Hornets. The Mounties lead it 7-0. Five minutes left here in the first quarter at Essex. Side hash mark. Sharon will be wide right, tight left. Willie McGrath, Scott Elsley, quarterback. Couple of setbacks. As Sites and Baraldi of the setbacks. Wing on the right of Stevens. Here's the pitch for Sites, and he sweeps it right, trying to cut against the grain and slip off the ball. And on the Essex, 42 line, picked up about a yard. will be second and nine for MSJ. They're going to say he got back to the line of scrimmage. We'll call it second and ten Mounties at the Essex 43-yard line. Well, we thought the field was in pretty good shape. We didn't walk out before the game, but uh, we saw Nate there make a, a slip as he tried to make a cutback. We saw a couple of Essex players earlier Still trying to make cutbacks. Maybe the bite the field might be just a little bit slippery from the rain they've had during the week up here. Working head in. He's a slot right. Wide right, Sharon, a couple of setbacks behind Scott Ousley. Second down play, Birkenhead is in motion right to left now. And the handoff to Sites off left tackle, and Sites is hit. Drags a couple of the the above the 39 yard line. Picks up about four. There's a second down play, and the Mounties will be faced with a down at about six here. And Koval on the tackle. Excuse me. Shut. Oh, could you get down, please? Thank you. Three forty-three left here. First quarter at Essex. Wing on the right, Birkenhead wide right. Sharon wrapped tight left. 
Wells to play action out play. Throws it right. He's complete the first and head at the 35, and he's dropped at the Essex 35 yard line. Number 31, Ryan first down for here. Tackle made by number 21, Lauren Boyer. Lauren Boyer on the tackle for Essex. You see where they mark it. That was a third down play. Great job there by Ryan Bergen running a little out pass. He rolled out to that side of the field and put the ball right on the money. Warrior came up very quickly and made the tackle and stopped Ryan too short of the first down. Yep. The body looks like they're going to be going for it here. It'll be fourth down, less than a yard for MSJ at the Essex 34. The body is going for it here. Right side hash mark. Sykes is the outback for all the deep back out of the eye. The wing on the left now is Stevens. Wide left is McGrath. Wood down play in motion. Stevens left to right. And the deep handoff to Baraldi takes it straight ahead. He's got the first down. The ball carried by number 44. Out of the Essex 32 yard line. He picks up a couple. Needed about a half yard. First and 10 MSJ. Mike Gabert on the tackle for the Essex Hornets along with Glenn Cobal. Again, the Sykes doing a good job with the lead block in there. Got a few people giving a half run, a little extra running room, and uh, again the offensive line giving a little bit of a hole there, and the running back able to sweep through and get the first down. In the market at the Essex 33, still a first down, first and 10 MSJ. Wing on the left now, Perkin head, the ends are tight. Play action out, play. Throws left, and a nice diving catch by Ryan Birkenhead down immediately at the Essex 27 yard line. Picks up six. Ryan Sarkin forward for MSG. On the same play they ran the, uh, the other side a couple downs ago, this time they ran to the left side, spot outside, rolling outside, and he caught Ryan working in the flat for a, about a four yard pickup. I think playing very tight on defense because the backs are very tight. Maybe look for the Mounties trying to sneak away deep on it for a big play. MSG in front, 7 0. 2 12 left here, first quarter. All the insights of the setbacks. Wing on the right now, Stevens wide right, Sharon tight left is McGrath. Ousley gets the snap. Here's the pitch to Sykes. Sweeps it right. He's Shot down after picking up maybe a yard. Ball carried by number 33, Nate Sykes. So he was down at the, the tackle was made by number 21, and Lauren Meyer. For MSJ at the Essex 27, so it was new touch really at the line of scrimmage. At the time, Matt Peralta is the one who kicked out the outside containment man, and uh, again, Nate got tripped up by a couple stray legs there, and I was able to go for it. got going to a good hold there, but he couldn't quite pick his way through it. This will be uh, closer to be third and five for MSJ. All at the Essex 28, so that actually lost about a yard. Play action, Ousley. Rolls right, being chased, Ousley is going to be hit and stopped as he got it to about the 24-yard line before he was finally dropped. Ball by the quarterback, number Fourth down here, Ben Slayton on the tackle for the Essex Hornets. For the market at the Essex 24, it'll be fourth down and a long two for the Mounties, close to three. That time uh, Essex got good pursuit and pressure on Scott Ousley, but not able to get outside like this. He broke one tackle on the sideline, able to lunge forward and uh, pick about three or four yards. He's still short of the first down, but they're in a, a situation of fourth down where they can go for it. They have a couple of things they can run. Fourth down, a long two for the Mounties, the Essex 24, a minute 22 left first quarter. The Mounties lead at 7 0. Little setbacks behind Outsway. In motion now, Stevens left to right. As the handoff goes to Sykes, off right tackle, and he's cut down at about the Essex 21, and then gets driven back. It appears to me that he's got the first down, but let's see where they mark it here. It depends on where they mark this forward progress. I thought he had it initially. We'll see where they put it after they finally unpile here. Boyer on the tackle, and Koval there as well. Slayton's there on the tackle as well for Essex. I'm not sure he got a good spot, are you? Yeah, I think he had a little more forward progress. I think he got hit by about four or five. The, the ethic force, we all pushed him back, but they are bringing out the chain and they got the first half. Yeah, they're going to mark it at the 22. I still don't think he got a really good spot. I think he really got about a half yard more than that, but enough for a first down. And it's first and 10 for MSJ at the Essex 22 yard line. Uh, it's out 7 0 here on the Mapparelli touchdown line. They're a good job here controlling the line of scrimmage, picking up a few first downs to keep the drive going. Sykes and Stevens, the setbacks. Birkenhead in is a wing on the right. Rath is tight left. First and 10 for the Mounties. The Essex 22 yard line. Birkenhead in motion right to left. Osley gets the snap and trying to take it off right tackle on the quarterback sneak. He does, but picks up only a couple down to the 20. It'll be a and eight. Justin Martin. The tackle made by number 36, Justin Martin. 10 pounds, it shows some good uh, speed and quickness and uh, good strength here as he wraps up Scott Osley for a couple, after a couple yard gain and uh, Martin's been on a few tackles already for the Hornets. 
Well, it's second and nine for the Mounties. They're going to mark it at the Essex 21. He didn't get a good spot either. Less than 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Second down play. Scott Ousley and company in motion now from the swing back spot. Right to left is Ryan Birkenhead. And the fake the sights and taking it left. On the option is Ousley at the 15, 10, 5 down the sideline. And he's in. Touchdown. Scott Ousley. What a fake. Is he faked it? Okay, the first the quarter quarter back, turn it left on the option. And coming down the sideline. A 21-yard touchdown run for Ousley. And MSK leaves it now. 13 nothing. 11 seconds left first quarter. When you play the main site off tackle all game long with good success, that time Scott faked it to him and kept the ball. Nobody for Essex touched him payment. And he got outside, he had uh, one man to beat uh, Boyer, and he put one move on Boyer and ran right down the cellar, got him. Somebody took the shot up just to win the end zone it was after he crossed the goal line. You know, the person drives in by the mountain, so they go 43 yards and get the six points. Great fake there by Scott Outschley. And and the option to perfection took it left down the sideline. Got the 21-yard touchdown run. Here's Max Curran with the extra point. It's good. MSJ up by a score of 14. Nothing. The extra point the is good. After this 30 second break. Matt Curran. Scott Ousley on the quarterback option. Matt Curran with the extra point. MSJ leads Essex by a score of 14. Nothing. Homecoming night here in Essex. And we have 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Mounted to done what they need to do, get a couple quick touchdowns, put the, the horse in the hole. As we talked about earlier, it's tough to come back with the wishbone offense. One time, Boyer back to you. Here's the Kern boot, and Boyer has it, and drops it, and a scramble for the football up around the Essex 23, and Essex has recovered as the Mounties came close to recovering that. Rich Eliano was down on the special teams and came close to recovering that fumble. And it was a time that recovered. So Essex almost popped it up. Uh, a fumble recovery by Mike Ousley, who was out of the ball game with an injury. Craig the first touchdown. They also had a fumble the recovery there. I don't know. Craig's got the glasses. I know they have Mike on the bench across the way. That's the end of the first quarter here in Essex. After one, the score is MSJ 14, Essex nothing. Back after this 30 second timeout. Carson is our engineer. It's MSJ 14, Essex nothing. After a quarter, Essex going right to left here in the second quarter. MSJ left to right. Our engineer also tonight, Tom Elmore. We've got a cast of thousands here tonight. First and ten Essex at their own 23-yard line going right to left. Here's the deep pitch now to Quintine. And he tried to cut it against the grain. Managed to get a couple of the 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 Wraps it up. Picked up three, second and seven for Essex at their own 27 yard line, one side hash note, just before him operating out of the wishbone, takes to the first man, and then the handoff to the second man, taking it off the right tackle. Ball carried by number 42, Eddie Andy Dunhauer. Dunhauer, who was seeing his first action. Picked up uh, just a couple and there to wrap them up. The tackle was made by number 34, Craig Stevens. Out to the 28, just picked up a yard. It'll be third down and six for the Essex Hornets. And then wide right is Wade at Desertels. They operate out of the wishbone. The end of the left, Jeff Porto was tight. Now they break the bone and they operate out of the eyes. They've got a slot right. And McWilliam goes to the first man, Brad Moore. Takes it straight ahead, gets it out to about the ball. Carried by number 34, Brad Moore. Drop. The tackle is made by number 34, Craig Stevens for MSJ. <laughs> And that's enough for a first down. He needed just about four, and that's all he got. He thought they at least hurt the cat ethic. Why, for a measurement there, wouldn't you? I wasn't sure that that was definite. Pretty close to five. First and ten, Essex at their own 33-yard line. Early going second quarter. The Mounties lead at 14-0. Again, they break the bone as McWilliam fakes to the fullback and takes it right on the option. Nothing doing. The ball is a couple back to the body. He's dropped by Scott Ousley. Scott Pavlov said, I can do that, but you can't. Make the tackle here. Once he got out to the outside, McWilliam's got to slow down. There's hesitation there. When he can catch the ball, that's all Scott Ousley needs to come up. Very strongly, very aggressively, 
And then for a, a junior out of We mentioned this pass was intended for the 21 Boyer. Pass. And if you don't pass, you just don't all of a sudden pass if your offense doesn't show it. And that's the first time McWilliam has taken to the air, I believe, maybe the second time. That's right, it was a halfback option. The wheels were dropped back and the was out to play over the floor. He had good coverage. He might have been open just to Third and 12 for Essex, the wrong 31. We're in the second quarter, Mounties lead at 14 0. And the handoff goes to Moore, straight ahead. And just to ball is carried by the 34, Brad Moore. The line of scrimmage. The and tackle is made by the 34, Essex. Larry Hare. Put the football away here. As Greg Outslay there on the tackle for MSJ. Peter Zeri and Ryan Birkenhead back deep for the Mounties. The Mounties have looked impressive here in the first half. 907 left in the half. MSJ out in front, 14 0. McWilliam back to boot around his own 20 yard line for Essex. Zeri and Birkenhead back around the Mounties 40. Snap is a good one. McWilliam. Away. They hit inside the 40, inside the 35, inside the 30 as they let it roll, and it is blown dead at the MSJ 26-yard line. Nick William, by the way, the quarterback, also the punter and kicker, is left-handed and left-footed. He's left-footed boot. Pretty good roll. And the Mounties have a first and 10, their own 26. It was a pretty kick, but he got a good roll out of it. But yet, still, the Mounties have fairly decent throws. You know, around the 26-27 uh, yard line now. Last time they had the ball, they went 43 yards. They're touchdown. Uh, again, they're doing a good job of mixing the plays up, running the ball, uh, passing the ball when needed. Mounties going left to right here in the second quarter. They were at 14-0, 8-30 remaining here in the first half. They operate out of the power eye behind Scott Ousley. The ends are tight. In motion, Birkenhead now, right to left. Out of the power eye. Play action. Ousley pops it back, and they're going to sack him way back at the MSJ 15 yard line. And the MSJ quarterback, number 16, try out play. And just a moment, man, he gets back to Essex with the sack. He's going to mark it finally at the 17. Lost nine. The Mounties will have it second down and 19. Usually first down is a good down to pass on him because he's expecting you to run that time off. The Essex was in some sort of blitz or something, and Mark came storming through from his uh, tackle position. Got back to Scott Austin before Scott really got set up and could uh, get into the pocket situation. And, uh, now the Mounties play themselves in the second and very long. Mike Austin has been re-injured. Mike Mulcahy is in. That guard for Mike Ousley, right on the left side, and we have a delay of game penalty against MSJ. So they're going to move them even further back here. Delay of game penalty against MSJ. They were second and 19, now they have a second and 24 as they mark it back to the MSJ 12-yard line. Right, it's a little slow getting out of the, getting into the huddle and getting out of the huddle. A little confusion in the backfield again. And uh, when Scott Ousley got back to the line of scrimmage there, he was all out of his a lot of 25 seconds. He really faced himself a second and very long. Wide left and Sharon. We're checking McGrath wide left. Sharon is tied right. The operate out of the eye. Wing on the left is Stevens. He's hand out to Burrell. The huge hole across the 15, across the 20. Out to about the 22-yard line. A pickup of 10 for Matt Burrell. Huge hole on that right Ball side. Ball carried by number 44, Matt Burrell. Making the tackle. So it picked up 10, but still a long way to go for the first down as the Mounties are faced with a third down. And at 14. Good strategy there by the Mounties. Went across one. They got the quick opener. And Matt Burrell got good yards. Uh, but he get all some of the yards back on two downs, not getting all in one. Now they're facing the third and 13, which is a making your wish in this offense where they can move the ball through the air. Well, they have it at the wrong 22-yard line. They operate out of the eye. Back to pass. Scott Ousley throws it left, and it goes incomplete. He overthrows Ryan Birkenhead, who's open up around the mountain. Passes is intended for number 31, Ryan Birkenhead. Dunhauer there to cover Birkenhead, but we've got a penalty marker down. We'll see what this penalty is all about holding against MSG. Essex undoubtedly would decline this because the Mounties would have it fourth and 14 at their own 22, as opposed to third down and 24 back at their own 12. And indeed, they are going to decline. So MSG will have to move the football away here. The penalty was declined. 15-0, 6.41 left first half. Mike Ousley has been re-injured in this football game. 
and injured in the first quarter. He had recovered a fumble earlier that set up the first Mountie touchdown. A four-yard run by Matt Feraldi. Later, a 21-yard touchdown run on the option by Scott Ausley. A couple of extra points by Matt Kern. Mounties lead it 14 to nothing. Scott Ausley back to boot around his own 12. Clear in the quick time back deep for Essex. And it is taken at the 44 across the 45 and getting it out to the 48-yard line. Ryan Cleary was the other guy back, uh, not Boyer. Cleary was back with Quintine and dropped finally at his own 48-yard line. So Essex is returned by number 22, Ryan Cleary. The lieutenant at their own 48, Greg Ausley. The tackle is made by number 89, Greg Ausley. The tackle is the return man. The short of the yard line is the tackle. This is the best yet. Should get some momentum after stopping the Mounties there on three downs. And obviously the big sack helps them out there and maybe they can crawl back, get back into the game. Gary Nelson is in wide left. They break the bone. Boyer is a wing on the left. McWilliam on the option. Takes the fullback. Takes it left. Gets it across the 50 and dies. Ball's carried by the quarterback. Number 48. Jeff the backfield to make the initial hit for the Mounties was Ryan Gregan. Give Ryan credit for the tackle. As after being hit, McWilliam managed to dive for a couple. Picked up four. It'll be second down and six. The Essex Hornets to the Mounty 48 yard line. Nelson out, and Desitels is in at an end spot for Essex. It looks like uh, McWilliams had good running room there, but Ryan Gregg did a good job. He's going to have to come up there and put him scoring for about three or four yard game. Side hash mark now. They operate out of the eye. They hand wide right and slot on the right. As the handoff goes to the fullback, Brad Moore straight ahead, squeezes his way down to the Mountie 45 or so. Ball's carried by, by number 34, Brad Moore. And tackle Craig Stevens for MSJ. He had some help. The market just outside the Mountie 45. We'll call it the 46. Give him a couple. And it'll be third down and about four for the Essex Hornets. Nelson back in at an end spot for Essex and Desitels is out. Bringing it wide right at Jeff Cordo. Again, they operate out of the eye as they're breaking the bone here, trailing 14 0. And off to Moore, straight ahead, Moore down to the Mount 42 yard line. It appears that it's. Ball scared by number 34, Brad Moore. The tackle is Keith Kaloje for MSJ. The, the outbreaking the ball. The tackle is made by number 64, Keith Kaloje. Playing the big fullback up through the middle, and uh, it'll pick up a few yards to shoot the first down. Yeah, they are going to mark it at the 43, so it's fourth down and about a yard for Essex. Didn't even call for a measurement there either. Essex going for it on fourth down, fourth and a yard to the Mounty 43 yard line. The Mounty's little 14 0, 425 left first half. Back in the wishbone, they got man wide right by Jess McWilliam. He hand off to Boyer off right tackle, and he gets down to about the 41 and then gets driven back. The ball is carried by number 21, Lauren Boyer. There's forward progress here. Tackle is carried by number 71, Larry Hare. He was hit by Larry Hare. He's going to mark it at the 42. So again, I think there have been three instances on both sides here where the forward progress uh, that the officials had given the runner, not quite as far as what it looked like from here. So they're going to call for a measurement here. Yep, the MSJ takes off on downs just inches shy. Now initially it looked like he picked up enough for the first down. He didn't get a good spot, quite frankly, and MSJ takes over on down. It's happened both ways here tonight. <laughs> First and 10 for the Mounties, they're on 42 yard line. The Mounties lead at 14 nothing, coming down on four minutes left first half. All the setbacks behind is Scott Ousley in motion now for all in the wing back spot. Hand off to Steven straight ahead across the 45, and it takes about six Hornets to bring him down at the Mountie 48 yard line. Pick up of six, it'll be second and four. Bobby Culver on the tackle along with Lauren Boyer. The ball is carried by number 34, Craig Stevens. Seven and call it second and three. Craig is doing a good job on the defensive end this time. He gets a little running on the offensive job and uh, did a good job of picking his way through a hole there and uh, back in the secondary and took him about out eight yards there. And, uh, again, the Mounties are going to get good yardage on first down. Again, we'll give him seven, call it second and three for the Mounties. They're on 49 yard line. Jeremy Fleming over the football in the hash marks. Working head and sights of the Setbacks. Wing on the left is Baraldi. He's in motion. The ends are tight. 
Inside, the fake goes to Birkenhead, back to pass. Auschleg dumps it off complete for Nate Sykes. He gets it inside the Essex 45, dropped at the Essex 44. The play action by Auschleg. He took it right back and hit and dumped it off for Nate Sykes. Coming out of the backfield. And it picked up pretty good yardage and a mighty first down down at the Essex 43. The tackle made by Dunhauer and Quintine. Eight yard pickup, first and ten, Mounties, the Essex 43. Three wide outs left as Ausley drops it back, shoots it off, it goes incomplete as he underthrows Matt Sharon down around the Essex 37 yard line. For number four, Matt Sharon. Sharon, the first attempt to Matt Sharon after. Of course, uh, he's finally back in the lineup after his injury. 2.42 left, first half, MSJ has won 14 of it. MSJ has his second and 10 of the Essex 43 yard bar. One setback for all the tight right now. Stevens, three wide outs left. Outslay drops it back, second and ten. And Outslay slips and falls back in his own 49. And we mentioned as you were brought up here that the field appeared to be in excellent shape, but it's undoubtedly very slippery. We've seen four or five instances in this ball game where people have fallen down. That's on the mother's want to try to get somebody going to ditch me. They had the three wide receivers set up like they did last time. That Sharon was going straight out of the field with the other guys. It was covered pretty well, and again, but also getting back in the field. Some of the heat from the Essex defensive line and that. Looking for him to pass on. Lost seven. The Mounties have a third to 17. They're on 49 yard line. 205 left first half. The Mounties lead it 14 0. Three wide outs left. One setback. And the pitch to the one setback. Sites. Reach it left. Sites from the 45. 40. 35. And dives his way. The ball is down by the Essex 38 yard line before he's rumbled out of bounds. Finally by, by Bobby Palmer. A 19 yard pickup for Sites on the sweep left. And a Mounty first down. They're going to mark it at the Essex 31. Three wide outs left. First and ten Mounties, the Essex 31. Dropping it back to passes Outslay. Pumps once and throws it left, and is it complete? A great diving catch down around the Essex 15. And I believe making the catch was Willie McGrath. What a diving catch by McGrath. A long way from our vantage point here, and it took a while before they said indeed a catch, but McGrath came up with it. And it's first and 10 MSJ of the Essex 15-yard line. A 16-yard pickup from Ausland and McGrath. Great catch by Willie McGrath. Here's the deep pitch to Sites. Sweeps it right, and Sites is going to be cut down at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 Mounties at the Essex 15. 23 left first half. The Mounties lead 14 Tackle made by number 21, Lauren Boyer. Number 42, Danny Donahue. I think the ball was intended for Willie McGrath. He's got out the line and gets Sites. The ball a little bit low, and uh, the guy from here dive over and make a diving catch, and uh, really can uh, catch it. Here they get their sights one. Sites is going to be nine yards. 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 Sites is going to be nine a penalty marker down, too much time again for the second time, delay of the game against MSJ. The Mounties will be at the Essex 19, and they will have it second down and about 14. The Mounties will be at the Mounties seconds left in the first half here. The Mounties will be at the Mounties 19. Working ahead, McGrath and Sharon wide left. One setback, Sites behind Scott Ausley. Ausley drops it back, throws it left over the middle, complete to Birkenhead on the slant end. He's down inside the five of the Essex four yard line. Picked up 15 yards. They're going to mark it at the five. 
And the clock stops with 28 seconds left here in the first half. The Mounties call their final timeout, and we'll keep it right here. It's going to be shy of first down yardage here. They're going to mark it finally at the six-yard line. Third down, less than a yard for the Mounties at the Essex Six. Third down, less of the yard for the Mounties, the Essex Six. They needed 14, that pass play on the slanted pattern to Ryan Birkenhead picked up 13 yards. So if they don't get it into the end zone, unless it's an incomplete pass, they've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly here. They get a first down, they'll stop the clock for about 10 seconds to reset the change, but they might try to get the first down and the huddle up really quickly and go from there. Stevens incites the up backs, Baraldi the deep back out of the power eye behind Scott Ausley. And the handoff goes to Baraldi, takes it straight ahead. He's got the first down. And then he fumbled the football, and Essex is recovered. Baraldi had the first down at the Essex three, but Essex has recovered the fumble and recovering Andy Dunhauer. And that just about the Essex Andy Dunhauer. What a put Essex away tonight, I think. 25 seconds left in the first half, and uh, another Mountie touchdown really would have been a, made it tough for Essex to come back. Now Essex has it first and 10, and it's on three yard line. Mounties led 14 up. Essex got the first down, he got hit by a four. Essex plays very hard enough. We're going to let the time run down. Essex does not even bother to run a play. That's the end of the first half here at Essex. Homecoming night at 8.14 in Essex nothing. We'll be back after this two-minute timeout. Uh, after getting a first down, Matt Wally hits very hard by a three or four of the other players. Blocking loose and uh, the pitches of the block are out there. Really. So, even though they are down 14 to nothing, Essex could easily be down 21 to nothing. They really have not moved the ball at all against this really tough amount of defense. They use the wishbone. It's a tough come from behind offense, as we know. Just McWilliams has thrown one pass incomplete. They had a quarterback option incomplete. You get down 21 nothing, and it's a long way back. They're still in the football game at 14 nothing. They get the football at the beginning of the second half if they're patient. Mommy touched that one. We're at the Essex Church of Education
So the problem is just that one law has to be the number one thing or if you don't answer something back to the other people. And they say, but if Rutland is playing the game and have the just the one law to get rid of the Rutland, it would seem to get back to the game. The teacher has a lot of things going on, but this is how the game is going to get out. all year the field goal to Mount Anthony the touchdown a week ago so this is a club of course uh, that's right hard for the touchdown also so two touchdowns in the field goal so that's uh, 15 points and give up last week they got BFA got kind of in the closing moments against some of the uh, the backups against the mud I think if they had to still have the shit out they might have Essex will receive to start the second half. Audi's going left to right here in the third quarter. Essex right to left. Matt Curran will kick it here to either Lidge or Wintine or Lauren Boyer. Audi's lead it by a score of 14-0, and this will go to Quintine at the 14, plus the 20, 25, spins at the 30, takes it wide, he loses a couple of yards, back to the 27, Greg Ousley. The ball is by the 41, Lidge Quintine. The tackle is made by number 89, Greg Ousley. Very important. They got nothing going at all. The first down, gotta get something going. Get the ball back from their side. First and ten for Essex. They're on 28 yard line. Quintan actually had it to the 30, and then he retreated looking for them. Greg Ouslay dropped it. Williams got all the way at quarterback, and had a big fullback, Brad Moore, on the carry. The ball is carried by number 34, Brad Moore. The 30 yard line. Larry here. Nice job tonight. And wraps him up. The tackle is made by number 31, Ryan Birkenhead. Picked up a yard, will be second and nine for Essex, their own 29 yard line just underway here in the third quarter. Essex breaks the bone here. And McWilliam fumbles the football, and MSJ is recovered. Scott Osley on the fumble recovery of the MSJ. At the Essex 24 yard line, McWilliam baked to the fullback, and the ball is going to go. Number 16, Scott Osley. One of his halfbacks, and he just plain let go of the football, and Scott Hosley there on the fumble recovery. They fumble in the first half, the Mounties are going to get a touchdown again. Excellent field to see the Mounties, they're going to cash in here and put this thing away all the way. There's some 10 for the Mounties, the Essex 24-yard line. The up back sight, Steve back for Aldi out of the eye, the handoff goes to Baldi off the right tackle. And he picks up about a yard. The ball is carried by number 34, Matt Baraldi. The tackle is made by number 76, Martin. Justin Martin. And also on the tackle, Bobby Colbert. Second and nine for MSJ, the Essex 23. The Mounties lead at 14-0, 10-15 left third quarter. 
for recovery by Scott Ousley. Mike Ousley, who set up the first Mountie touchdown with a fumble recovery. Mike is out, injuring his knee. Scott Ousley now on the reverse in the wingback spot to Waziri. Sweeps it left, and Waziri is going to be dropped after the pick ball. About three to 20, but we've got a penalty marker down here. The tackle is made by number 41, Essex. We'll see what the penalty marker is all about. It's a face mask penalty against Essex. The preliminary indication from the officials, that would make it half the distance to the goal line. The Mounties would have it around the Essex 10. A face mask penalty as Waziri was brought down by the face mask and the Mounties will have it at, let's see where are they going to finally mark it, they're going to mark it at the Essex 11, so the Mounties have it first and 10 at the Essex 11, they can pick up a first down without getting the touchdown. Stevens and Sykes of the setbacks behind Ausley, Burke and in motion from the wingback spot left to right, and the handoff goes to Sykes straight ahead, churning for yardage. He picks up a couple down. Ball by number 33, down for MSJ as Ben Slayton. The tackle is made by number 32, Ben Slayton. Second and eight after the pickup of two for the Mounties at the Essex nine yard line. Right on the left now is Stevens, left to right. He's hand off, all the fake to Sites, taking it right on the option. It's Ousley, and Ousley's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, MSK. John Ousley again the on the quarterback option, taking it right and trotting it into the end zone after breaking to Sites. And the Mounties go up by a score of... 20 to nothing, a nine-yard touchdown run by Scott Ousley, and such a fake, I thought indeed he did give it to Sykes. That's a pretty touchdown on the playoffs, they scored a touchdown on the first half, again, he fakes it, the ball into Sykes, reached the defense, they off the last and smoke containment, he gets to the outside with his great speed, and uh, Scott Ousley just ran by everybody, and came to the uh, near sideline here for the touchdown, and uh, we talked about the importance of the defense getting something going here in the second half, and lose a fumble, and uh, the run is the actual pretty quickly. Matt Curran in to attempt the extra point. I'll slay a holder. The kick by Matt Curran is up and good. And the Mounties go out in front by a score of 21-0. Nine-yard touchdown run for Scott Outslay. The extra point is and good. The extra point was made Mounties by number 11, lead. Matt Curran. Here with 9 4 left third quarter. Back with the kickoff after this 30-second timeout. Uh, keeper for the touchdown for Scott Outslay. And the Mounties lead at 21-0 over Essex. 9-0-4 left here. Third quarter, and here is the boot by Matt Curran. Wind time grabs it on the run across the 20, 25, 30, 35. Breaks a tackle across the 40 out to the Essex. 42 yard line. Essex in position here. First and 10 on 42. And Essex now out of the wishbone. And, and once in a while, the tackle is made by number 30. The they have a long way to come back here. Tough in this offense. Rich Iliano making the tackle for MSG. Really big talk about getting all game long. This is definitely killed him. Jessica Williams, the senior quarterback, 6'4, 187 pounder. Here's the pitch to Boyer. Sweeps it left. Boyer avoids one man, gets across the 45 up to about the 47. Ball is carried by number 21, Lauren Boyer. And Brisbane, Greg Ousley, one of the tackle is made by number 66, Ryan Gregan. <laughs> Second down and five for Essex. They're on 47 yard line going right to left here in the third quarter. MSJ out front 21 nothing. The touchdowns for Scott Outslay, Matt Feraldi with a touchdown. They break the ball and they operate out of the eye. They've got a man wide right and slot right. And William on the option pitches it back to Quintine. And Quintine is hit after picking up about a yard to the 48. Matt Sharon. The ball is carried by number 41. No effects from time. his injury. The tackle is made by number 84. Matt Sharon. Down the ground basically with one hand here. We're talking about on the offensive end, it definitely helps the passing game, but also the defensive end, 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 the defensive
Master Turner is really helping him. Well, he's defense right now. Look up of a couple. Third down and three for Essex. They're on 49-yard line. They're back in the wishbone now. The ends are tied. Jess McWilliam marks them out. Here's the deep pitch now. It goes to Quinn Tide. Sweeps it back and against the ground across the 50. Down to the mount, he's 48. The ball's carried by number 41. So the ball's carried by number 41. And it is indeed an Essex first down. On the tackle, Scott on the foot. First and ten, Essex, the Mountie 48 yard line. William on the bay takes the left of the Jackson McWilliams. McWilliams is pushed out of bounds by number 31, Ryan Birkenhead. Doing a good job of getting people outside when the first place has hold the ball and that he's able to get around the corner and pick up very good yards on a first down. Mr. out in front, 21 nothing. 6.52 left third quarter. Again, back in the wishbone. McWilliams and company. And the second man, the deep hand out throws to Quintine. Off left tackle and maybe a yard to the 32. The ball is carried by number 41, Lynn Quintine. Scott Osei. Tackle is made by number 31, Ryan Kirkenhead. When they get away from the additional option plays out of the wish when they go to the quick pitches and things like that, and they're using their speed because they're actually doing some good speed to get them outside. It just seems to be a little slow to all things when they run the option. It's about it. Very good speed to put them on the group and put them down and really stop them from getting anything going out of the option. From about a half yard, we'll call it second and nine for Essex at the Mountie 33 yard line. Slot left now, McWilliam, back to pass, play action, fires down the middle, and goes in, good play, and broken up on a nice defensive play by Ryan Birkenhead, down around the MSJ 12-yard line. The pass was broken up McWilliam by number 31, Ryan over middle, Birkenhead. Uh, over the middle of Jeff Cordo was the intended receiver. Again, I behind the throw ball that time. That's a very good job that did that. Essex has it third down and nine at the MSJ 33. Essex back to the eye now. They break the ball. McWilliam on the handoff. Straight ahead and more and more gets good yardage inside the ball. Ball carried by number 34, Brian Moore. A pick up and close to 10. Ryan Birkenhead. 170 pound junior. Ryan Birkenhead on the tackle and it is an Essex first down. So this is their most impressive drive of the football game. But this is what the wishbone is very effective. A lot of teams do this. You can control the clock, you can run the ball very well, a lot of deception, and uh, hopefully you can break a big play. But I think it's got a couple of big plays in this drive. 21 0 MSJ, five minutes left, third quarter, second and eight Essex, the Mountie 21. With William on the deep pitch now to Quintine. Quintine is hit. After losing the ball, is carried by number 41, Liz Quickheim. The tackle is made by number 16, Scott Outplay. That's one of the guys who's got some penetration. Greg Outplay, he hit the three, he hits the ball, the Quintine, and the low key, he's and uh, Keith Pelosi and Scott also is very quickly coming up for us. That's what you got to do against the wishbone when you're going to have very good pursuit. You need two pursuits. That's the uh, running back from switching away and getting a big game. Gary Nelson is wide right. Now Quinton is a slot right. Third and ten. Essex, the Mount, he 23. Nick Woodyum, back to pass. The left hand. Shoots it left. And it is complete. No, it goes incomplete. Quinton had it and then couldn't hang on around the Mount, he 12. Fourth and ten. Essex. Wide right. 
Good ball. Good ball. Fourth and ten, Essex the mount at 23. 4.15 left third quarter, MSJ up front 21 nothing. Wide left now, Desitel. Slot left is Boyer, the deep back Quintine, up back more out of the eye now. Back to pass before and he shoots it down the middle, it goes incomplete. It was almost intercepted by Mike Mulcahy. He's disappointed, but if he had intercepted it, the Mounties would have lost about seven or eight yards. He had it. He would have had it around the 15, but he would have been tackled immediately, probably. The, the Mounties take right 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 down. Right that was okay. the fourth down play. So Mike might be disappointed without the interception, but nevertheless, the Mounties have it at the 23 instead of at the 15. First and 10, MSJ. Mike did a good job of getting it dropped from his linebacker position. We had put him right in the numbers, but uh, unfortunately, Mike couldn't hold on to it. Mounties bring it back the other way out in front by a score of 21-0. They operate out of the eye. And off straight ahead goes to Sites. Breaking tackles and made across the 30 to about the 31. The ball's carried by the Seven, maybe three, eight yards eight, in the play. What a break tonight for the Nate tackle Sites. Is Nate Boyer on the tackle. Was Nate Breyer. Sites, who on the first play from scrimmage for the Mounties, took it 70 yards. And even though the Mounties did not score after having a first and goal at the Essex 9, scored on their next series after a fumble recovery by Mike Ousley. Ousley has re-injured his knee in this game tonight, and he has not seen action since the first quarter. It'll be second down and two for the Mounties at their own 31-yard line. Going on the left, it's Birkenhead. The big decides by Ousley, takes it left on the option. Ousley across the 35, and he's dropped at the Mountie 40. Pick up ball the by the quarterback. Mike Gabert on the tackle play. for the Essex Hornets. First and 10 MSJ, their own 40. Mounties lead it 21-0. A couple of touchdowns for Scott The tackle's made by number 44, Mike Gabert. I think he's a good job of filtering out there, so Scott just kept the ball by himself. He'll back underneath his arm and uh, pick up the first down and a good game there. Side hash mark, the Mounties operate out of the eye now. Deep back is Birkenhead. Birkenhead gets the call off left tackle, picks up one, maybe two to the 42. It'll be second and eight. Or the ball is saved by number 31, Ryan Birkenhead. He came up to make a tackle, he can't think of his number, but Matt Barali running very hard, he just ran over him, and uh, the Essex player will be hurt, and the defenders come out to look at him. We're going to give him a yard, and we'll call it second down and nine for MSJ at their own 41-yard line. At the end of the game, we'll have a Pasquale's 12th player award winner for MSJ, that Pasquale's unsung hero for the Mounties. We'll get the Mountie Steak Sandwich and the Victory Cap, and we'll have a J.P. Carrera and Sons MVP for MSJ as well at the end of the game. And then MVP will get all the souvenirs from J.P. Carrera and Sons. Next broadcast will be a week from tomorrow. Rutland High at Fairhaven. We'll be on board with that one beginning at 1.15 with a free game show kickoff time at 1.30. Two weeks from tomorrow, Rutland and MSJ at St. Peter's Field. We're on the air at 1.05 with that one. And that was a pregame show kickoff time at 1.30. They're still administering to the injured Essex ball player. We can recap the scoring. The Mounties scoring twice in the first quarter. Gouslay recovered and Essex fumbled in close. The Mounties also scoring in the first quarter on a 21-yard run on the quarterback option by Scott Ouslay. The Mounties led 14-0 at halftime. Uh, there was no scoring in the second quarter. A couple of extra points for Matt Kern. Here in the third quarter, Scott Ouslay scoring on a 9-yard quarterback option. To put the Mounties up 20 to nothing. Matt Curran with the extra point to make it 21 nothing MSJ. And that's where we stand right now. That Scott Outslay touchdown is second of the ball game here in the third quarter, set up by Scott's fumble recovery. Again, uh, the Mounties uh, seeing uh, the return to action tonight of Matt Sharon and Mike Outslay, who have both been out for three weeks with knee injuries. Mike Outslay, who recovered the fumble in the first quarter, as we mentioned, set up that first Mountie touchdown, was injured in the first quarter, and it appears that he re injured his knee. He's on the Mountie bench across the way without his uniform jersey. He's wearing a jacket. He has not been back in the game since uh, apparently re-injuring his knee in the first quarter. Mike Ouslet. And Sharon, those uh, still in the lineup and uh, is walking off the field under his own power. The Mounties will have it second and nine at their own 41-yard line. 2.52 left here, third quarter. Jack Healy aboard with Craig Sear, our engineer Jim Carson.
Larry jumped back, the two Packers stayed on the shot of the power line. He entered tight. Rath left, and Sharon Wright has got Oxley Barton on second down play. And the handoff through the head of Rosieri. 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. Pete Rosieri, and he is finally brought down inside the S15 at the Hornet 13 yard line by Lynch and Wintai. But Pete Rosieri almost took the one all the way, 59 yards. Instead, it's first and 10. Mount is at the Essex 14. Five yard run for Raziri, first and ten Mounties. The Essex 14 yard line as the handoff goes straight ahead to Matt Baroli inside the ten to about the nine. The ball carry better 44, Matt Baroli. Boyer on the tackle. It will be second and five after Matt picks up five. For the Mount, he is at the Essex nine yard line. Oh, he's looking for more. They go to 21 nothing. Again, they got the good lead block from our new place. He's been running very well all season. And then a left is working ahead. A couple of setbacks behind Scott Outslay. And Outslay on the handoff straight ahead and getting his way down to about the five. The ball is carried by number 44, Matt Baraldi. It was Matt Baraldi. The tackle is made by number 42, Andy Dunhauer. That picked up four. It'll be third down about a yard for the Mounties at the Essex five yard line. Sites and Baraldi, the setbacks, working head, wing on the left. Scott Ausley, also the second man, and it is Sites and Sites. The ball is carried by number 33, and Nate Sykes. Sykes was tackled by number 76, Justin Martin, with the assistance of number 21, Lauren Boyd. Let's be close enough for a measurement here. Sykes did a good job just to pick up about a yard or so on that play. Pick up about a yard and a half, and here comes the chain game. Meanwhile, the big tackle just really quickly, but... Only fourth and inches for the Mounties of the Essex four-yard line. One minute left, third quarter. MSJ out in front by a score of 21 to nothing, and MSJ wants a timeout here. And let's see. We don't. Here come the coaching staff and the coaches. Timeout on the field. We'll be back after this 30-second break. He has it fourth down and inches at the Essex four-yard line. A minute left, third quarter. MSJ out in front by a score of 21 to nothing. Looking for that touchdown, they'll put the nail in the, the coffin here for the Essex. And, uh, the Mounties did a good job once they've got down there. Boy, they got stopped in the second half. Excuse me, the second quarter with the ball until they first have gone down. But uh, for the most part, they did a good job of getting the points once they get down there. Set back Sites and Stevens behind Outslay. Wing left is working hit. Scott Outslay parts him out. He goes to Sites off right tackle. Dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Nate Sites. Touchdown, What a night tonight for Nate Sites. A four-year touchdown. touchdown. And MSJ goes up by a score of 27 to nothing. In the offensive line, opening a good hole for Nate Sykes. Once he got to the goal line, met with a couple Essex defenders, but Nate just bowled him over. He's like, well, he's 205 pounds, a big, strong kid. And, uh, once he gets in, he does a very good job of turning his leg ball and keeping that power going. Four yards, four yards, four yards. Looks forward when he gets tackled. And, uh, and yeah. the roll and the roll from the two defenders and get the touchdown. They started the night on a 70-yard run earlier. That turn with the extra point. Nice catch and a put down of the ball by Scott Oxley. The kick is good. And MSJ leads it now by a score of 28 0. 54 seconds left, third quarter. Be back after the quarter. Second time up. 28 0. MSJ, a four yard touchdown run by Nate Sykes. That 45 yard run by Pete Raziri set that up. That four yard touchdown run was on a fourth and inches. That turn perfect four for four in the extra point department. And here's Matt's boot, and this will bounce on one hop to Quinton as he takes it left, gets it across the 20, and he's brought back about the 20 as he gets driven back. The ball is carried by number 21, Lynch Quinton. For MSJ, Justin, or James Corsell. Justin Corsell. The tackle is made by number 25, James Corsell. Cousin. 
something like that. You have to remember everybody, everybody's family, all the cousins. Yeah. Yeah. First and 10 Essex, they're on 20 yard line. Nick Williams goes to the first man through. It's more fumbles the football, but he was down. Picked up a quick five. It'll be second and five for the Essex Hornets. Ball is carried by number 34, Brad Moore. Here on the tackle. It was a Mountie clear uh, shaking up on that play. I'm not sure. Get the binoculars on him, see if we can tell who that is. Thought it might have been Ryan Bragan, but again earlier, Mike Ausley returning to the lineup for MSJ, re-injured his knee in the first quarter. He has not played since. And Sharon also returning to the lineup tonight. He has played well. And uh, an injury uh, timeout here as they administer to an injured MSJ player. We're only guessing. Uh, it is an MSJ player. We're guessing on Ryan Gregan. But uh, we can't tell from here. We have the binoculars on him. 13 seconds left, third quarter. MSJ out in front by a score of 28 to nothing. A couple of touchdowns for Scott Outslay. Touchdown for Nate Seitz and a touchdown for Matt Feraldi. Jack Curran a perfect four out of four in the extra point department. And it's Ryan Bragan who hasn't been 100% uh, healthy, and it, it is indeed Ryan Bragan, and he is trotting off the field under his own power. Ryan had, what, a wrist injury uh, coming in? Uh, he's, uh, so it's second and five for the Hornets, their own 25-yard line. Here's the pitch now to Boyers. He sweeps it right, cuts against the grain. And Boyer is dropped at the end. The ball is carried by number 21, Lawrence Boyer. Boyer. It appears the first down here. Depends on where they mark it. And they haven't marked it, and frankly, and where it should have been. The ball is carried by number 24, the tackle. It is a first down, picked up six. Fullback takes it straight ahead. Moore dropped at the Essex 33. Pick up a three. It'll be second and seven. And it's on the tackle. It's Keith Peloje for MSU. Yeah, the, the wishbone team, uh, they run the ball. That's what they're going to do here in the fourth quarter, even though they are down 28 to nothing. And, uh, you can't pass the ball if you don't practice it the right week. They're just going to keep writing things out until you break a couple of big runs. They break the ball now. They're operating out of the eye, and they have a couple of minutes wide left just from William now. William on the bottom. More, more across the 40. Ball is carried by number 34, Brad Moore. Brad Moore picks up 11 and an Essex first down. First and 10 for the Hornets to run 44 yard line. They had two wideouts left and McWilliam went to Moore in the handoff and the top play. And Moore was brought down by Scott Ausler. Tony showed a few different formations, something they've been doing all night long, but basically still one of the same kind of plays out there. What we're hoping to do is be here to make this point and have him break one. And they operate out of the eye, a couple of wideouts left, they have a slot left, Jess McWilliam, first and ten, back to pass, the left-hander looking, and he shoots it left, and is it incomplete? No, it's incomplete. His intended receiver was Jeff Cordo, on the 43 yard line or so, and he underthrew him, so it'll be second and ten for the Hornets, they're on 44. They're running off and they don't work on the passing plays in the during the week because it's something the wish ball takes so much time to work on. Second and ten, Essex around 44, early going fourth quarter. McWilliam back to pass, drops it way back, sets up the screen, and a juggling catch by Clinton at the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. 
started, and Quintine finally brought up three by the year 41, Quintine. By Pete Brashiri. The wind dropped it way back to the screen by Liz Quintine. And Quintine showing good speed. Finger down the near sideline. From about 29 yards or so on that screen pass. 29 yards pickup from William Quintine. And Essex moves it down. Humble before he was hit. The ball just kind of popped out there. Two behind him, uh, Wade Bippertel made a big play there. That was another turnover. As it is, he picked up a uh, uh, ball nine yards. So it'll be second down and one for Essex at the Mountie 16. The handoff to Boyer, and he gets it inside the 15 to about the 13. Picks up three. And it is an Essex first down. First and ten for the Hornets at the Mount Heath 13 yard line. 948 left in the game. Ball is carried by number 21, Lauren Boyer. Craig Stevens on the tackle for the Mount Heath. We've seen a lot of tackles from the defensive end position. And uh, again, the, the Hornets going to get their deep tackles going here in the second half. So it's really a case of either bit too little or too late. First and ten for the Hornets at the Mount Heath 13 yard line. And Dunhauer is in, slot left. McWilliam takes it left on the option, cuts it against the grain, gets it inside the 10, line, picked up about four, it'll be second and six, Ryan Bragan back in the lineup makes the tackle, Ryan Bragan back, the tackle is made by number 31, Ryan Birkenhead. In the backfield, uh, Bobby Culver now, as they up it out of the eye. William goes to the first man, Phil Moore, and Moore gets it inside the five to about the three yard line. On the carry is Ball is carried by number 34, Brad Moore. Mike Mulcahy on the tackle along with Ryan Reagan. The tackle is made by number 34, Craig Stevens. They just able to keep rolling the ball in here, and the big pullback. Third and one for the Hornets. Good job. They call it third and one for Essex in the market at the MSJ four yard line. Moore is the up back. Now Culver moves to a wing on the right. Third down play for McWilliam and company. And the fake to Moore. McWilliam takes it right on the option. And he is going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage as he couldn't turn the corner. Small game by the quarterback, number 14, Jeff McWilliam. The tackle is made by number 16, Scott Outplay. Week in and week out. Uh, and it's uh, easy to overlook him, but he just does the job both offensively and even. He just comes up so strong from the safety position. Picked up about a yard when it was all said and done down to the three yard line. He needed about a yard, picked up almost a yard, but shy of first down yardage. So Essex has it at the Mount three yard line. Fourth down, less than a yard for Essex at the Mount Heat 3. The Mount Heat's at 28-0, eight minutes left in the football game. William barks him out now. And William on the handoff to Moore, straight ahead, and Moore is... Touchdown, Essex! Touchdown.
Blanchard. They go tuck the extra point. And before you push it down, the kick by Blanchard is no good. A line drive that went under the crossbar. So the try for the extra point, no good. Lonnie's lead at 28-6. Back with a kick the kickoff after the 30 second time. Jerry, working here in Baraldi, back deep in the Mountains. And this will go to Baraldi at the 17, across the 20, 25. A boys one man. And he gets it across the 30 to about the 31 yard line. Ball is carried by number 44, not Baraldi. Baraldi passed to Tilio on the stop for the Essex Hornets. So the Mounties go on the offense. The tackle is made by number 16, Glenn Kovar. Playing score 28 to 6. Everything has gone in his way tonight. The only bad news is Mike Ouchley, who's back in the lineup uh, tonight, after being out with a knee injury, re-injured that knee in the first quarter. And he has not played since. Hopefully he'll be able to return to the setbacks behind Scott Ousley now. Ousley on the handoff to Brawl. He takes it straight ahead. He gets it across the 35 and above the 36. Pick up a five. The ball is carried by the 44, Matt Brawl. Lauren Boyer on the tackle for the Essex Hornets. A week from tomorrow, Rutland and Fairhaven will be on board with that one beginning at 1.15. 6.45 left in this football game. MSJ 28, Essex 6. Second and 5, MSJ, their own 36-yard line. They operate out of the eye. As the deep handoff goes to Baraldi straight ahead. Gets a couple to the Mahi 38. The ball is carried by number 44, Matt Brown. Mike Gabert. The tackle is made here by number 42, three, Andy Gunnhauer. <laughs> Get back on the bus and go back down to Rutland uh, with a 6 and 1 record. MSJ wants a timeout. We got a timeout on the field. We'll be back after this 30 second break. And about two at their own 38 yard line. The Mounties lead the Essex Hornets by a score of 28 6. 625 left in the football game. Working head wide left. And wisely, I don't believe Matt Sharon has played in a little while, but wisely sending him out. A couple of setbacks behind Outslay and the handoff goes to Baraldi straight ahead across the 40. The ball is carried by number 44, Picks Matt Baraldi. The tackle is made by number 42, Andy Dunhauer. Matt Sharon is across the way and he hasn't played in a couple of plays. I didn't really quite notice when he did indeed go out. I don't know if it was this series or not, but the Mounties up 28-6, no sense in risking an injury to Matt Sharon. If he hasn't played much, you can get a word about his condition. Also, he's coming back to the not want to take any chance at the game. Well, if the goal is Matt Brawley again doing a good job running with the football. First and 10 Mounties, the wrong 46. Birkenhead wide left, and tight right is McGrath. And as the handoff goes straight up the shoot, and getting his way for about a yard. The ball is carried by the recording sheet for Gary. And Rosary Chuck it. Uh, Justin Martin on the tackle. Second and ten for MSJ at the 46-yard line. He has, uh, did a very good job. He has that speed of getting outside. That was uh, had the big one off the kind of early on. He had a tough time running in between the tackles. It, he's a more of a speed back than a power back. And uh, the main objective with him is to get him outside and utilize that outstanding speed he has. 25 left in the game. The Mounties lead it by a score of 28-6. The Mounties operate out of the either Ziri, the deep back, sights the up back. Take the sights by Ousley. Here he comes left with the option at the 50. And Ousley tried to pitch it back to Missouri, but the whistle had blown. Ball is down carried by the quarterback, number 16, Scott Ousley. All over the place. And picked up about six for Scott Ousley. The tackle is made by number 25, Bobby Culver. He was just about tackling and kicked the ball out through Missouri. I'm not sure what the, uh, the penalty was. And Again, Essex not getting any continuity on the outside, and they were able to get around the corner. Yeah, I believe it's against MSJ for flipping, I think. There's been a few times tonight where Essex is not getting any continuity on this lob. Scott Elson to get outside, and then shoot touchdown runs. And the only loss of the season for the Mounties against Mount Anthony, that was one of the keys for Mount Anthony's defense. They were able to get containment, and Scott Elson wasn't able to run around the outside like he has tonight in all the games this season. One of the things that the coaches, if you're scouting these the Mounties, you might want to make a note of that is that if you can get some containment on the Mounties, that's one of the things that is really been their key to their, their offense of getting outside and 
you got to get some damage on the end. That's what Mario did that one game that did They were able to beat the Mounties. It is a clip, so the Mounties have it second down. They're down about 20 at their own 37 yard line. Now Slade drops it back, pumps once, lets it fly down the left side right more. Back and hit, great diving, catch, he's down at the Essex 31 yard line. Great catch and a great throw too by Scott Oslay, a catch by Ryan Birkenhead. The old kitchen go and Ryan Birkenhead takes it out, having to get a little pump take from Scott Oslay. He just turns on the burn down the sideline. You can see the defensive back fighting for it. He tried to make a good recovery, but Scott Oslay laid the ball up in their city. A little bit of air underneath it in that right hand. Birkenhead, the boat out of the season, gets the catch with the ball right down the market on it. Again, a big play for the Valley's offense. They are going to second long. 29-yard pass play from Oslay to Birkenhead. Great right on both sides. The throw and the catch. First and 10. Mount is the one at 31. Thanks in motion left to right. Here's the pitch for Rosiri. Early marker is down. Rosiri inside the 25 down to the 20 yard line. The ball is carried by number 20. Somebody was here. Might have been in motion here. Either Seitz or Rosiri. And we're going to wipe that off the board. Ronnie's out in front, 28 6. 21 left here in the football game. And that play right there, even though it's going to be called back, and because of the motion penalty, you could just see the speed of Peter Berry, and he got the pitch, and he immediately cut out field and chose him. He's good speed in that. He runs very hard, ran uh, up straight up and down the field, didn't waste a lot of time, a lot of fancy moves, just quick turn on the burners, and had a good game before it's called back because of the motion penalty. Real procedure against MSG, they have it first and 15 at the Essex 36 yard line. Clock running, coming down on 4-10 left in the football game. Dykes and Stevens are the setbacks. We're going to right now for Aldi. The ends are tight. McGrath and a working hit. Now Slate barks him out. In motion now left to right of Sykes. And the handoff goes to Stevens straight ahead. And Stevens for one, maybe two. The Essex 35-yard line. Give him one. It will be second and 14 for MSJ. And Brad Brand on the tackle for the Hornets. They ran the play the motion like they did last time. And they came back with that. There's a hand up up the middle between the two. Ball carried by number 30, 34, Craig Stevens. The Hornets in all positions and deals with the wrestler, Craig Stevens down the ground just for a short game. 330 left in the game, MSJ in front, 28-6. The Mounties have been impressive tonight. Second down play for Ousley and company at the Essex 35. Scott Ousley takes it right on the option and pitches it to Rosier. He's on the ground, he picks it up, gets it inside the 30, down to about the 27-yard line. A broken play, and they end up picking uh, about eight yards uh, up on that particular play. And the ball was the third by the number 20, Pete Lugier. The tackle was made by number 22, Ryan Clary. Down to the 27, will be third down in about seven for the Mounties at the Essex 27. Greg Ousley is in. He's tight right now. He's operated out of the power eye. And as the handoff goes to Stevens, straight ahead. Stevens is 20 and down at the Essex 16 yard line. An 11 yard pickup. Larry on the tackle. They're going to tackle made by number 22, Ryan Clary. First to MSJ, the 182. Stevens on the top of the zone. He's playing a defensive end. A nice run there for Greg in that. He threw a little bit of a hole in it. Barely through the secondary. He didn't put him up and save the touchdown. Right, McGrath. They got a man tight back. They operate again out of the power eye. Ousley on the inside, hand off to Rosiri, inside the 15, to about the 13, picks up five. Ball is carried by the McQueen, Ethan Gary. Jason Hall, this is Greg Ousley, a hand spot. He might be able to get here, he's going to be out, he might be able to tackle. He's going to have some Right tackle and Baraldi gets his way. Ball is carried by number 44, Matt Baraldi. About the 11 yard line. It'll be third down about three for the Mounties at the Essex 11 yard line. So when I thought Greg Ousley was in an end spot, he was actually in a guard spot. McGrath and Birkenhead are the end. Greg for the Mike is a, is a guard. He's out of the bad knee. Also Ryan Gregg in his 
been a problem a couple times tonight. If this late in the season, you're going to move players around to fill in the, the gas of the injured players. Stevens wired left, the off lead out of the eye. Third down play for the Mounties, the Essex 11 hit. The fake in the throat of Birkenhead is complete. And Birkenhead is down at the Essex 8-yard line. The fake to Baraldi, that's twice. Did Scott Elstein is definitely fake. The pass play complete for only the three yards. Tackle is number 88, Sean Stark. It's going to happen at the Essex 8, fourth down, and a long one. He said Craig Stevens out very wide that time. He said he's going to Touchdown, but we got a flag down. No touchdown. We got a flag down. They got a flag down. The flag. Board. Again, that's the third time. And twice in a row, Scott Ausley with a great fake. For the first man through, he faked to Baraldi and threw complete to McGrath at the goal line. We got a flag down. 27 seconds left in the game here. It is against MSJ, so wipe the touchdown off the board. It'll be at the Essex 14-yard line, so I still didn't see what the indication was. Right? Well, sure. Never heard of the signal here. The Mounties were in the fourth down in about seven at the Essex 14. So the touchdown pass from Outslay to McGrath wiped off the board, but the Mounties here after the penalty. It was a five-yard penalty. Might have been offside or motion. On his later 28-6, clock running, 15 seconds left in the football game. He might be content to let it run down. Over to the line of scrimmage, eight seconds left. Fourth down play for Ausley and company. Ausley drops it back, and we got another penalty marker down. As he took it right, three seconds left in the football game. MSJ on front, 28-6. to six. We'll see what this penalty marker is all about. The illegal procedure against MSJ, so they'll mark it back to the Essex 19. I just let the walk in and I'll probably 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 just let the walk in and the final score, MSJ 28 and Essex 6. And with a victory again, MSJ is 6 and 1. Essex falls to 5 and 2 on the year.